Good morning, kids. Do you know what today is? Today is called Palm Sunday. And, and it starts the best week ever for Christians. We call it Holy Week. And, and this is the week we get to celebrate in very special ways why we call Jesus Savior Messiah. Now, if we were together today, we would, we would have palm branches and, and we would be parading around the church. But since we can't, I want you to keep watching because Miss Jamie gave me pictures of you waving palm branches in your home. And, and I got to tell you, I was so excited to see you. And, well, here's the story. When Jesus came to Jerusalem, he wasn't riding in a beautiful car. He didn't have bodyguards all around. He was a little bit different from your typical celebrity. Do you know that Jesus came into Jerusalem riding on a donkey? No kidding. He was riding on a donkey, and, and people were throwing their coats on the ground so that the donkey could walk on the ground, and they were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest heaven. It was a wonderful day. People were really excited to see Jesus. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen a celebrity before, but is there anybody that's ever come to visit you that, that you were just so excited to see? Maybe it was your grandma and grandpa, and, and when they came into the house, oh, you were just so excited. They're a celebrity because you were just ready to see them, and, and, and it was a great day. Well, that's kind of where Jesus was coming into Jerusalem, and that's why we celebrate. But, but the real question is, well, who is he? In fact, Jesus asked that question of his disciples. You know, the disciples were the guys that, that went around with Jesus during his ministry. And, and they were learning about Jesus and they were learning about God. Well, after they had been with Jesus for three and a half years, Jesus asked them that question. He said, who do you think I am? Who, do you, who, who am I? And do you know what Peter said? Peter said, you are God's Messiah. You are the, the anointed one from God that, that has come to set his people free. Now, throughout this whole week, we're going to have worship services online. On Monday, Thursday, we're going to celebrate Jesus' Last Supper. And it's going, to, it's going to tell us all about that last meal Jesus had and, and how heavy his heart was because he wasn't going to get to, to be with us physically anymore. And, and we kind of know what that feels like today, don't we? Because, well, we can't be physically together either. But we are together online, and, and, and we are united together with one heart as we lift our, our praises to God, as we pray our prayers and, and sing our songs. We're still together, even though we can't be in the church. Well, Jesus was sad because he wasn't going to be able to be with his disciples either. And it was going to be a hard day for him on Friday because that was the day when he was, he was going to, to be crucified and, and killed and hung on a cross. And he did that because he loved us so much and, and he wanted to forgive us of our sins. But you know what? We know that as sad as... as those days were. Jesus was resurrected on, on Sunday, on Easter. And he's with us always. And no virus, no lockdown can keep him out. He will always be with us. And that's why we celebrate today. Because our King, our Savior, our Messiah has come home. And he's never going to leave us. Praise God for that, right? Okay, now I want you to stay tuned. And I want you to see the celebration of the children. All right? 